Hello everyone, this is AB Creative and some of you may know me from my Instagram page. And lots of my followers were asking me to show the process in detail. So this is actually my very first YouTube video. I've decided to paint uh, some jellyfish today. Jellyfish on a blue background. I'm going to show you which paints I'm going to use and I'm also going to show you how to mix some of the paints. So this is something I'm aiming at. I think I'm going to paint three jellyfish. Maybe I will change the blue background and add a bit of turquoise to make it maybe sort of a like a great gradation of color. So these are the paints I'm going to work with today and I mainly work with Arteza. Uh, there will be a link under my description and it would be great if you could use it. It does help me out a bit. So we've got ultramarine blue, we've got paler blue, this is paler green and titanium white. I try not to use plastic cups so most of the time you'll see me using some strange looking little cups. These are actually uh, some cups from various cosmetic products that I use and these sticks well I've been using them for weeks and weeks. So I just squeezed some white paint in here and the next thing this is my my own pouring medium. I do use PVA glue and water and this is my favorite favorite glue. This one is archival. If it's not enough, I'll add some water later on. And then I'm going to carefully mix it all. I mixed it well. You can see that I can sort of pour it down. It's a nice flowing stream. Probably two thirds of the pouring medium to my paint in here. And now I'm just going to add maybe 10 or 20% flow troll. I'm using this flow troll. This is quite handy in this squeeze bottle. And then, and then mix it again. Now this is the right consistency for most of the pouring techniques that I do. When the stream goes down, as a tiny, tiny build up disappears quickly. I call it the runny honey consistency. So now I'm going to mix all the other colors the same way. Transfer the large amount of paint to those squeeze bottles, then I can keep them for a few weeks later on. So I've got the background paints ready. Now I've decided I'm going to make my jellyfish using magenta, uh, pearl pink and pearl white. All of them are metallic colours, again by Arteza. There's a link in my description as well. I won't need that much colour, so this is the amount I squeezed in. Now I'm going to add the pouring medium and flow troll. And this amount I'll probably put just two teaspoons. When you mix metallics, you have to make sure you mix really, really, really well. Now, this is really well mixed paint, so when I take it on my stick and drop it, you can't see any blobs and there's a little dome building up and then disappearing on the surface. My jellyfish colors are ready, so I'm going to start making the background. I'm using these little containers, and again I reuse them constantly. I'll keep them under my canvas in case some paint drips. Make sure your painting is level. So I'm going to spread all my blues and greens on the canvas. Now my favourite spatula, I'm going to spread the colours evenly. So this area is going to be lighter. Change my spatula for a smaller one, so I can evenly spread. I'm not quite happy with the colour. And yes, I'm going to do the edges as well, don't worry. I added a bit of white because I wanted the bottom part to be a bit lighter. I'm just spreading it. Time for the jellyfish. I think I'm going to go for three. The bigger one somewhere here. That's here. 
smaller one and a little one. I'll start with the bigger one. I actually didn't tell you, I, I'm going to use a straw and I'm going to blow to create a little dome, jelly, jellyfish dome. Maybe let's put the pink magenta. I haven't done it before. This is just an experiment, so hopefully it will work. A bit of pink. Now I need to be from the other side, so I'm going to move my canvas around. I did order the special silicone straw, but it's so big. I actually use the old plastic one. Yes, I know it's plastic, but I've been using it for probably over six months. You can see it all, and I do wash it. I wash everything I use. What do you think of the shape? I think I'm quite happy with this kind of shape and the colours as well. So I'm going to repeat one here, going perhaps this way, or maybe a bit rounder, and a smaller one. And a bit of magenta. I quite like the pink and the magenta underneath, because the jellyfish, they, they do have some colourful insides, don't they? This is the pearl white, so once my painting is dry, it should make a nice sparkling element. I've decided to make this one a bit bigger, because I don't want it the same size as that one. So now I'm planning to do the tentacles using actually my ball chain and for this I think the tentacles, the middle tentacles will be pink and white so I'm just going to put some paint here and I'm going to dip the chain in it. It's probably enough and a bit of pearl white. I'm not sure about the magenta, maybe the tiniest, tiniest bit of... Okay, let's see how that goes. To be super careful because I don't want to destroy my dome. Oops. Okay, let me pull it. Not bad for the middle one. Third chain. I wish I could drag it sort of more at a different angle. Well, it's a very useful thing to have a container with water when you are working with chains so they don't get clogged with all the acrylics. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to repeat the same process on the second jellyfish however i don't want to destroy that one so i'm just going to go behind maybe turn this way i've also decided to make one slightly longer so i'm just going to I think this will be the last one on the small jellyfish. As you've noticed, I'm kind of trying to control it a bit more. Okay, perfect. My first thought was to put the third one here, but now I've changed my mind. I'm going to do like a really, really tiny one. This one won't have many tentacles. And I can use the other side of the chain because it's such a small, small jellyfish. That's fine, I think I will leave it like this. So now I'm going to turn it this way. 
and I'm going to draw those really really thin wispy tentacles now that's quite a lot of them on a big jellyfish and for this purpose I'm going to use a string instead of a chain maybe just a few of them using chain so I'm using my pearl white just putting it on a paper plate and I'm going to dip quite a thin string in here and just drag it And I have to wipe the string every time because I don't want to actually drag the green color. I just want to have it white. Okay, that's different. Slightly different effect. It's not easy to maneuver with this type of string. It's better. And some of them will be hidden behind the big one. Right. You have to be very careful. I don't want it to go behind the seam, so I'm just keeping the tentacles here. In the view. I was a bit worried at the beginning that this will take off my sort of focus but now since the tentacles are going down I think it actually looks pretty nice. Oh by the way I forgot to tell you that I am an art teacher as my daily job so that's why I'm quite concerned about the composition of an art piece and now I'm thinking do I need to go around each dome with white or maybe pink or not perhaps i'll use a chain just to drag maybe just to make the edge more smooth let's see it's a darker one well to finish it off i've decided to add some air bubbles using as you can see my old toothbrush Since I've got my pink paint here, I'm just going some, to add some finishing touches to my jellyfish. So this is actually one week later. I've just added a coat of resin. I was using Ultracast by Elicam. Just look how the metallics really, really pop now. And the colours, they look beautiful. The background does look much darker. I think I like it this way. Please tell me what you think. You know it's my very first video so I would really really appreciate your comments. Press like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.